Oh, shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. Today, I want to talk about Yeshua's final instructions to the apostles and the disciples before he uh, ascended up to the clouds. And uh, we can start that out with uh, <clears throat> in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 1, verse 6 through 8. It says here, <clears throat> when, therefore, when the, they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Master, Wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in the, his own hands. But ye shall receive the power after the Holy Spirit is come upon you, and ye will be witness to me both in Jerusalem and in all of Judea and in Samaria and unto the utmost parts of the earth. So right there he's talking about going out and spreading the good news. And what is the good news? The good news is the gospel, the gospel of the kingdom, of course. And uh, up here in chapter 7 where he says, uh, it's not for, not, it's for not, you, not you for to know when the times and seasons are, because they're in, uh, you know, Yahweh's hands. You know, that's, uh, I mean, I'm just getting off track, a little track here, but, you know, that's a, uh, you know, that's something to really think about too, because people go around and think they're going to know when the time, the end of the world's going to be, things like that, you know, but only one person knows that for sure. Anyways, you know, throughout the New Testament, it talks about the gospel, witnessing, things like that, spread the good news around. And uh, you can find some of that in, uh, you know, Matthew 4.23, uh, Matthew 9.23. Verse 35 and 26, uh, verse 13, just uh, name a few. There's more in there, of course, you know. But uh, I'm going to skip back to uh, Matthew. Matthew 24, 14, the Ol Olivet Prophecy. Twenty-four fourteen, And it's... Right here in the States. And this is the good news of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. The end of the age, perhaps, but the end of, uh, you know, the end of the chances of people saying, uh, I wasn't warned about it. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't warned about it. No, if it's been preached around the world, and we got internet today, it goes all around the world. There ain't no excuse. The message has been delivered. Some people can accept it. Some people can deny it. It's freedom of choice right there. But at the end the end shall come. Plain and simple right there. And uh, and also, uh, 1 John uh, chapter 1, 7, bear, you know, you got to bear witness to the light. You know, that's, you know, talking about John the Baptist, of course, that's what he did was, he bore witness to the to the light, and the light was Yeshua, of course. Anyways, and oh, another thing, if you notice in Exodus the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not bear false uh, false testimony, false witness, witness. And you could also uh, Yeshua said that too. He said that in uh, Matthew nineteen verse eighteen. If you want to check that out, I, I encourage you to check it out, of course. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna. Return back to the book of Acts. The book of Acts, and it'd be, uh, what was it chapter uh, 26? I skip back here, 26. Oops, I went a little too far. Twenty-six and uh, 22. 26, 22, right over here. And this is this is Paul in front of Festus and Agrippa. Having therefore obtained the help of Elohim, I continue unto this day, witnessing both to small and great, saying none other things than those which the prophets and Moses did say should come. And uh, anyways, you want to? We could skip down the surprising fact here. You know, he he went there and he was witnessing. And he was spreading the gospel around, not just a small peasants poor or anything. You know, he went he, he went in front of heads of state 
and he was preaching the word to him, you know, Festus Agrippa and the council, you know, whoever else was on there in the court. But if we go down to 28, this is kind of an inter interesting thing. Then, then Agrippa said unto Paul, almost thou persuadest me to be a follower of Yeshua, Messiah. So in a way, Agrippa, he might have been saying that sarcastically, but then again, he might have said, hey, you, you speak real good. You know, you almost had me there, but not quite, you know. <laughs> so, but but uh, yeah, anyways, and I want to go back to the Matthew 24, the all of that prophecy when I was talking about, you know, the end has come, of course. And uh, I want to go to, uh, I want to go to, uh, uh, Let's see, Abra uh, Matthew nine. Let's see, Matthew nine, Matthew nine thirty five to thirty eight. Matthew nine thirty five to thirty eight. Just wanted to make sure. And Yeshua went about all the cities of the villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the good news of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them because they fainted and they were scattered abroad as the sheep having no shepherd. Then saith he unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray you. Therefore, the master of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers unto his harvest, meaning witnesses, meaning disciples, apostles, and witnesses that are going to that are going to preach the message around to the known world. It's going to be a small, like little little seed, but when it grows, it's going to grow and it's going to grow. It's going to keep growing. And uh, and look at it today, you know. Look, it's it's all around the world, you know. Like I said before. The technologies of the internet, television, radio, everything has made that quite possible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I want to go to uh, Proverbs. Got a couple interesting things, quotes from Proverbs. Actually, there's there's a lot in here, you know. Wealth of understanding, wisdom, and information. I'm going to go to uh, 14, Proverbs 14. Proverbs 14 and... Uh, I want to start with uh, uh, verse 5. And it states here, A faithful witness will not lie, but a false witness will utter lies. True, Truth be told there. Now, I want to skip over to uh, 14, 1425, verse 25. A true witness delivereth souls, but the deceitful witness speaketh lies. And like I said, when you go back to Exodus, and you go back to the... What, Yeshua said in Matthew, in the Matthew uh, you know, bearing false witness and lying, you know, that's a sin. That's that's a sin. That's against one of the, you know the, the commandments. But anyways, you know, it's uh, it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of bad that uh, you know, today we got the evils in the world that we do and. You know, the carnal minds and crazy stuff going on. But the gospel, you know, that was the last message of Yeshua on earth, but not his last message because we got revelations and, you know, the Holy Spirit speaks and everything. And and uh, and before before I go, before I go, I want to go to Luke. Jump clear to Luke again. And uh, what is it going to do? Luke 16. Yeah, Luke chapter 16. Luke chapter 16, and we'll go to uh, 27 through 31. 27 to uh, 31. And this, this is about the rich man and Lazarus. Then he said, I pray thee, therefore, Father, that thou wouldst send him to my father's house. For I have five brethren that he may testify unto them, lest they also come unto this place of torment. Remember, he's talking to Abraham. This is just a parable. That's all it is. And this rich man is burning in hell right now. Abraham says unto him, They have Moses and the prophets to let them hear them. 
And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. And he, and he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded through one that has risen from the dead. So when he talks about Moses and the prophets, he's talking about uh, yeah, Holy Scriptures, of course, you know. But he's all, you know, talking about the gospel. You know, he had his last chance. And that's what I said when it's the Olivet Prophecy. Matthew said, you know, the Yeshua said, it's, uh, the, you know, the end, the end has come. You know, there's going to be time when there won't be uh, no turning. You won't be able to turn back, you know, repent. And uh, that's a sad story. But like I said, he, his last message, Joe, was Yeshua's last message in the book of Acts, the first chapter was, Go and be a witness and testify and witness and spread the word around, you know, the, the glad ti the glad tidings. And uh, that's and through New Testament, that's that's like a theme. The message right there is, you know, spread the word around, you know, and and, uh, you know, throughout the history, you know, we had, uh, you know, the well, let's just say church history. They spread around their own type of gospel, but it wasn't really good news with uh, Constantine and you know the inquisitions and the crusades and everything like that that's that wasn't a true message at all but uh the time is coming you know and it's it's right at hand like she would say the time has come the kingdom of yahweh is at hand so we just got to uh you got to pray and everything and we got to be educated and full of uh wisdom and enlightenment so that's all i really want to say about that and please you know Study up on the scriptures about this subject and everything. It's very important. And uh, I also want to stress and note one thing, you know. When you go and when people go and witness to other people, you know, t either their testimony or want to bring them to Yeshua, there's a lot of people out there that don't get the message as far as, and I'm not talking about the people don't want nothing to do with it. I'm talking about these other people in certain churches with a certain zeal where they want to push it on you. You, you kindly listen to them. You say, no, thank you very much anyways. But these supposed missionaries or whoever else, you know, you know, they keep coming back and they bug you and bug you. It could be a family member, a friend, or it could be a stranger, co-worker. But, you know, that's not right. You know, if somebody's make, made their decision, you know, you know, that's where you kick the dust off your feet and you go, you go do your, you do your own thing, you know, I mean. You know, maybe someday, you know, they might have a change of heart. and But, you know, there's a lot of people out there that just want to force it on you. And that's not that's not the way it is. It don't work that way. And uh, I know I know you probably met a few people like that. I have, too. You know, they, you know, won't leave you alone, won't leave other people alone. They think it's a, a mission in their life. They think, you know, it's like a, you got to be converted. You know, he's got force converted like they can do it, you know, but that's not how the formula works when it comes to you know the true messianic uh, faith it's not how it is you know yahweh is the one that does the calling you know you know but i just wanted to say that you know i mean you shouldn't go and bug and harass people if you're going to witness to them or anything it's nice you know that you you know go up and you might want to mention it to them if they cut you off fine if they you know if they, at least if they, you know, listen to you and don't accept it and say, no, I'm not interested. You just thank them for, you know, lending an ear in their time and that's it. But uh, anyways, that's all I really wanted to say right there. I thank you again for tuning in and, um, you know, please subscribe. I, I need some more subscribers now, but uh, please hit the notification bell. And if you like this channel, this channel and like me here, like me there, like me my other videos. And, uh, you know, comment below. Let me know what you think about, you know, witnessing and go around and doing missionary work, things like that, you know. Anyways, that's all I want to say right now. And thank you again until we meet again. Shalom and peace out.